Hey, hey. I'm Patricia, your Aisha Angel, and I have been driving for Uber and Lyft for and I am so excited to be contributing a few of my videos to the Rideshare Guy team. They put out some awesome content that helps us Uber and Lyft drivers on a regular basis. I enjoy driving, and while I'm driving, I enjoy networking with the drivers and networking with the passengers. One thing I noticed is that we have a lot of things in common. We also have a lot of unanswered questions. And for some of our new people, they don't even know what to do. So, I love doing videos, so I decided, let me do videos to share what we experience from the passenger's perspective and even from the driver's perspective. So, in this video, I am going to talk to you about how to eat healthy while driving for Uber and Lyft. Showing you how I meal prep 30 minutes prior to going out, but I will also suggest that you prep the night before. Being that we are essential workers, the CDC said, not me, they said that we should be mindful of what we're eating, we should try to stay healthy, and we should exercise to help the fight of COVID. Now, CDC said that, but just naturally, we all should be trying to eat healthy, be mindful of what we intake. But of course, when we work in a job that requires us to sit down and just drive from destination to destination, and depending if it's surgeon, it always helps if we actually have something to snack on, whether a protein bar or so forth. So I'll be able to show you some of that when you stay tuned. The importance of us eating healthy while driving for Uber and Lyfts helps us two ways. A lot of people are not tipping like that. So it helps us to save some money because what we probably spent about $20 maybe. So we get to go home with $20 that we probably would have spent on eating. And to my fellow delivery drivers, you get to smell somebody else's food and you really didn't have time to stop and eat. What do you think you're gonna do? The next place you eat, the next delivery order you're gonna get, you're going wherever they're going and you're gonna order whatever you like on that menu. So meal prepping and having your food already planned, this really helps you from some of those things which then saves you on that money. And now I am about to cut this. All right, so what I'm going to do is start with my lunch first. And this is me putting some pesto basil on there. And now if you didn't want to use a wrap, but you want to use rye bread, wheat bread. And again, it is 7.30 in the morning and I am trying to get out there so I can get to driving. So I'm just making my sandwich real quick. For the so now this is the finished product. Making my parfait, so it's early in the morning. I don't have enough time to eat um, home, so I'm going to take some blueberries, and I'm going to take up some strawberries. I love, put some of this in there. So this has, this has cranberries, pecans, almonds, raisins. But this is a really good meal just to take on the road and you can um, eat this in the morning. Now, let me throw some snacks together. I want to put some cucumbers in there, chop them up, then put some chunks of cheese because, again, when I'm driving, I don't know if I'm going to be out here for seven to eight hours. So I want to have enough so I don't have to stop and stop at the fast food place. Cool. So this is a snack that I saw on Pinterest. And I said, oh, this, I like peanut butter, I like bananas. And then you dip it into some dark chocolate like that. And voila. So now I am about to hit the road and I am going to hit the road with all of these healthy items. I gave you some extra options. If you're a bread person and you can still want more bread in your life, you can still eat with your whole wheat bread. I have my whole wheat sandwich wraps. I'll be taking that majority of the time. You got some cheese, too, and your cucumbers and all of that. I also added two meals. So if you want to have your sandwich, or either you want something hot, it's getting chilly now, or getting winter time, if you want some soup and salad, this is some avocados, cucumbers, walnuts, cheese, tomatoes. And what you want to do is maybe use some balsamic, balsamic vinegar. 
And again, if you don't already have your own homemade leftovers or soup, you can go ahead and get some Campbell soup or any kind of soup. Try to get less sodium as possible. Then you even have some snacks, healthy snacks, peanut butter, banana with chocolate. You have your breakfast parfait or your smoothie, whichever one. Again, I wouldn't recommend you take double, but if you're going to be out there long or you're a big eater, at least you're eating healthy. And this stops you from having to go to McDonald's, Taco Bell's. Please make sure you're using, get your water drinking in, and you're using um, BPA-free plastic items. And then you have some ginseng tea, just in case sometimes I need some other flavoring, not just water all the time. And then you put it all in your beautiful lunch bag, and all of this can fit in there. As you see, all of this can nicely fit in there. Voila. So you can come to HEB here and get some of these inexpensive salads if you don't have time to make any at home. Now I'm still at HEB and all of these options. They got breakfast, classic, Mediterranean, Mexican, Asian. These are the prices. These are some of the meals. Here for breakfast. So breakfast, they got the parfait. So here are some snacks. See, they even got some snacks to go. Okay, so now I am ready. I am dressed. I have a hit. I am 15 minutes away, my passenger's away. And now I get to drink my smoothie that I made. And I get to save myself from going to stop at McDonald's or any of them places that I would need to go get some breakfast from. Okay guys, I've been out here for a few. I am about to eat my sandwich. I am on to my sandwich. I've already had my um, snacks, a few of my snacks. Um, really not that hungry today. Just been making sure I stay hydrated. Um, and again, if you can pull over, it's, it's pretty popping out here today. So, uh, oh, speak up. It's pretty popping out here today, so I don't really need to. Again, this is one of the reasons on why it's good to pack your lunch because if it's good money, there's some surges out here. It's always good for me to, you know, be able to eat in between a trip. And again, uh, I forgot to mention, definitely refrain from packing anything that smells like fishy or some of some sort. So any cooked broccoli or cook cauliflower and so forth even though you should be eating vegetables you want to kind of keep them as raw as possible um this sandwich is not smelling up too much mm, 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 mm. so good mm, mm, mm. Eating and the driving, eating and the driving. Paying attention to the road, of course. But I am a snacker. So I know sometimes if I'm driving past a restaurant, I am more and prone. I'm more prone to stop and get something. And most likely, I don't like to pay for healthy stuff <laughs> from the um, McDonald's. I don't know about you, but I go to McDonald's and you're talking about getting something healthy like a salad? Mm, no. I pretty much just want something unhealthy. How many of y'all really do eat healthy while you're out there? How many of you really do eat healthy while you're out there driving? Because, you know, eating healthy and buying... Eating healthy is one thing, but buying healthy is another thing. If you have to go when I was on a diet and I had to go eat eggs just protein and so forth I was going to McDonald's like can I buy an egg white 
He was like, $2. I was like, oh my goodness, I can get a whole dozen eggs for that. So that's the importance of why you want to save your money, especially times are hard. Some of the passengers are not tipping like that. Remember guys, there are a few more days left. Please get out there and vote. Your vote counts. Most importantly, remember to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them below or send us an email. We release new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Alright, drive safely everyone. Bye! Bye!